All right, everybody, welcome back. This is part eight. In this step, we're going to measure and cut the polarized filter and put it onto the actual watch um, display unit and get that nice negative uh, display uh, modification to the screen. So before we do that, let's take a look at polarized filters and, and get our understanding of that. Now, from my research, there are two types of polarized filters you can buy online. You have non-adhesive and you have adhesive types. And a lot of filters actually give you the option to click on buying non-adhesive or adhesive. So uh, again, what you want to look for is zero degree. Uh, my understanding is that the lower the degree, the the brighter the numerals will look to give you that negative display. I have used a higher degree polarized filter on a completely different watch. I still got a negative display, but it was darker. The numerals weren't as bright and they weren't as crisp. So zero degree linear polarized filter is what I'd recommend. The other two types are adhesive and non-adhesive. And non-adhesive is self-explanatory. It basically means you just get a filter, you cut it to the right shape and orientation, and then you can go ahead and what I like to do with those is in the past I would put a little bit of glue around the border here or if you're doing the whole watch around the perimeter and then you just press fit that filter um, into the uh, the masking and then you put the masking on top of the watch unit. Because we're using adhesive filter I'm actually going to be putting the sticky side onto the actual display itself and in this case just the lower half of the display. Okay, now with this adhesive polarized filter, you actually get three layers. So let me show you what I mean. So this part that I'm peeling here with my left finger is the protective film on one side. You have another protective film just like this on the other side. And in between, you're going to have this polarized filter. This side, of course, is the non-adhesive side, and the other side of that would be the adhesive side. And you really want to limit pulling on the other side because once you do you should be ready to go and stick it down onto the watch face. So knowing that this is my non-adhesive side I'm going to find a corner here and I'm going to line up my filter and in this case it's already clear that I need to cut from this side but let me just show you what happens when you rotate the filter around. Okay so that would be almost like the normal display that you get from the factory with the watch. There's another um, negative display, another normal display, another negative display. In general, every time you rotate 90 degrees, you change the color 90, 90, and then again 90. Okay, so we're going to be cutting here, and we want to trace where we want to cut first. Now, when it comes to tracing, You want to create, uh, you want to outline as close to this display size as possible. Don't go too far out and don't obviously go too short because then it will be obvious. You'll have a little bit of exposed when you put the masking on. You will see the film here if it's exposed. Okay. You also don't want to go too large because if you have some of the film, sorry. If you have some of the film hanging off of the edge here, then you're gonna get air bubbles underneath that film. So really, you wanna measure your film to the exact size that you already removed from the watch. So I'm gonna line this up. The top part of my film now, I'm going to line up with the uh, score line that I made earlier. And I'll take a Sharpie and I'll make a tracing of where I want to cut. Right, just like that. Again here, 
because I'm going to be cutting this, I want to label this non-adhesive. I apologize if I'm going out of uh, out of view here. Non-adhesive, so that way I just know that that's the correct side. Okay. Now when it comes to cutting, you have a couple options. Some people like to use uh, scalpels or, or hobby knives. Some people like to use scissors. You know, I guess it depends on what uh, number of blade you're using and how fine it is. The film itself, this is just a practice film that I cut earlier. This still has all three layers of the polarized film on it. And I just want to show you that for me, because I don't have the sharpest uh, hobby knife, my scissor actually gives a much cleaner cut. So let me show you the cut that my scissor would give. Okay, it's pretty clean. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Okay, nice and clean. Now what if I use my hobby knife to make the same cut? You can see that I'm really having to go several passes just to get through. And let me show you what happens when you go through too many passes. If you compare the two, okay, you can see that here's my scissor cut and here's my hobby knife cut. Because I had to really press hard with my hobby knife, I actually get all this um, this crinkling around my cut. And if you stick the filter onto the watch face, sometimes you can see those little crinkled edges of the polarized filter and it doesn't look nice, it doesn't look clean. So in this case, I'm gonna be cutting with scissors. If you have a higher grade uh, hobby knife, then maybe it's it's easier to use the, um, the, uh, the hobby knife instead of the scissor. So now let's go ahead and let's do our cuts here. And this is a uh, Victorinox Super Tinker, by the way. I've had this since I was, uh, it's actually a pretty cool knife. My mom gave this to me uh, for my 13th birthday. So now we've got our filter here. Okay, so again, I'm gonna find that side that says non-adhesive. Okay, this is the right orientation of the lettering, so I know this is the correct size side. We're gonna go ahead and now prep our main display. Okay, and I'm gonna, pr I'm gonna test fit this on just to make sure that the size is absolutely correct. I don't have any edges hanging off the side. So again, I think I was off camera, so let me explain again. If your polarized filter is too short, obviously that's going to be a problem because when you put the masking on, you're going to see that part of the display that's not polarized and it won't look nice. Likewise, if you use a polarized filter that's too long or too wide, you're going to have some of the filter hanging off the edge like this. And what that means is that air can actually get into here and you'll start having air bubbles all around the corner or the perimeter of your display. And in some cases that might widen over time and it'll show up on the main display and also won't look nice. Okay, so looking at this, top to bottom looks good, left to right looks perfect. So I'm good there. So I'm gonna set this aside. Okay, I'm gonna get some tweezers ready to um, peel apart this uh, protective film on the polarized filter and let's clean the display. So that way, once I peel off that adhesive, I'm ready to go and put this on. Okay, looks great. So let's do this. We'll go to the back.
I'll grab a guitar pick and gently push. You'll notice that I'm not removing the protective film on the other side yet because I don't want the guitar pick to scratch the main display. I'm going to save that for the very last. And pressing in to out, not too hard though because you don't want to break the display beneath, will help push some of those air bubbles hopefully out. Okay. So I think that looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and remove the opposite protective filter. Okay. All right. Let's get out any remaining air bubbles that might be in there. Fantastic, so that looks great. So there was uh, some top parts there where I wasn't really talking, I was trying to focus, but when I was laying that film down, what I was doing was, I was putting it at an angle like this, okay? And once I felt the top border of that hit this cut edge of the uh, factory glass, of the factory filter, I then went ahead and laid it down this way. So that's how I would recommend you put it on and then using something blunt like a guitar pick to kind of help push those air bubbles um, off to the side. And let's go ahead and, and put the masking on and let's, this is kind of fun. We'll take a look at our work here and, and see how this looks. Okay. Let's have a few more air bubbles here to the top. Okay, give it another wipe. And we'll put our filter down. And that looks pretty cool. Got our negative display now. So in the next video, uh, I'm gonna show you guys how to reassemble um, everything else. Okay, we'll see you on the next one.